Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Castile, soon to be the Emperor of Spain and soon to be the ruler of the Terra de España. Because no one else in this world is going to name this land, so we're going to name it what we want to. And. Do, 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 do. My poor explorer, man. He had so much to live for. He died so suddenly. Well, as the rest of the world slowly deal with their religious troubles, we as this, as this, as the true rulers of the world just laugh at all their Protestantism troubles. Because look at our country. Our country is just built on the fact that we don't have anyone that's really there. And it seems like our great and utterly po poetic leader over here has died. So there's really no reason to have the troops over here. So we're going to go get our transports and go send them back. Fernando de Pelo, I don't remember when you died. I don't know how you died or in what circumstance you died. All I know is that you never, for the last 20 years, you explored basically all the new world. You gave us more map access than I don't think any other country ever did. More than definitely any explorer of today's world ever did. So you deserve credit. You deserve a gold medal. You deserve to be remembered through history. I want everyone to remember Fernando. Fernando the Great Conquistador. Not even a conquistador, because he didn't conquer anyone. He was just a great, a great leader and explorer. God bless this guy. Okay, enough of the religious fanaticism. Let's go back home. These troops are finally going home after six years out to sea. This just took them the longest. I wonder how they're going to think when they get back home. They'll be like, gosh, I wonder how my wives are. What? My wife is dead? Oh. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I thought there was going to be a... I was going to try to come up with some kind of joke out of there. But I said death too soon, so... It made it all sound really depressing now. Well, on the plus side, I guess, um... Yeah, I'm kind of feeling morbid now. I kind of just like... I don't know why. That kind of actually did bring me down a little bit. So, we're going to go group up our soldiers over here. Get a little bit more stuff stuff and army men start to be built. I think it's finally time we build a proper army again. So let's see, these guys need at least two more Rapaziers and at least two more Cauldrons. Oh wait, we can detract that one. Oh. Well, apparently we can detract that one. Yeah, we're just gonna build more like cannons. I think I'm gonna get the cannons and the uh, um, cavalry squared away and then I'll start dealing with the men because we already have enough men in this army. Like, uh, seriously, a lot of men, but we're going to have to deal with the rest of it, which is going to be hard. So right now, what is our goal, our goal again? Oh, yeah, it's integrating those, uh, what are they called, the uh, Madlela. Actually, I don't know how it's pronounced, so I just did that southern accent. Not because of disrespect, but just because I don't actually know how it's pronounced. Okay, and let's see, how much would it cost me to send a gift to you guys? Would you guys like me? No. You guys are expensive. You're gonna be that greedy little king, aren't you? Yeah, I, I'm just... Uh, basically, I'm just gonna have to wait. There is absolutely no way I can get to the colonies in, unless some miraculous miracle happens, okay? So, otherwise, I'm just gonna have to wait until we gain more, like, naval access, which, if I remember correctly, I don't remember it's this one. Yeah, it's this one right here. Naval 7 improves our distance by by 160, which I think might be close enough to where we need to be. Let's see. Let's see. 160. Yes! That would put us barely in position of the Guiana and Islands, which then we can immediately start colonizing, and then we can immediately start fighting Portugal. So we just have to wait. We just have to not spend any of our Diplo points for a couple weeks and keep improving relationship with all our friends because... Our buddies are still going to get angry at us once we start gaining a colonial empire. I already know it. They're going to be like, Who? Oh, they have a colonial empire. Well, now because of it, we're jealous and now we must hate them. Because they have a colonial empire. Yeah, yeah, good, good strategy. Totally good strategy. I could beat you guys up, but... Yeah, totally good strategy. I I'm sure it's going to work out in the long run. Yeah, so... Basically, the only building we can actually spend on is the armory. Which, of course, you know I'm going to spend on because I'm, I'm a nut about armories. Like, they are my piece of cake. And now we are making good amounts of explorer money. We can actually get a new explorer right now. Uh, let's get... 
I actually don't need a Conquistador right now, which is weird. Usually I would say I need a Conquistador. We can actually get an explore, and we can actually try to start exploring again once we get a colony over there. I mean, I'm not going to go get a colony right now. I mean, I'm not going to go, like, send the explorer out right now. That'd be stupid. We need to wait a little bit until, like... Well, basically, we need to wait until we have a more powerful army, because it's honestly not going to help us to go, like, explore now. And let's see, how much farther are we behind in technology? 6-6? Six, six. Holy shoot! What the... Hmm... Yeah, is my key this guy is so much better. Could we like kill this guy right now? <laughs> oh my goodness, he's 57. Oh my goodness. How old are you? 63. How are you guys still alive? Like, seriously, I, I don't usually look at my rulers, but how are you still alive? You should be dead. Like, not just dead, but like dead twice over. Okay, let's gosh dang, that's kinda weird. Okay, yeah, we're still producing halfway about our uh, maintenance. Oh, man. And, yeah, we have all these revol revolts and people wanting independence. It's so silly. Like, seriously, they want independence. Uh, yeah, but we still have to deal with it. We're about to gain this core right here. It's going to be about, literally, about a couple more months. We finally gained that. The Reformation branches out. Oh, that means that there's now the Reformationists. And let's see, how has the the uh, French dealt with their uh, problem? They seem to be doing pretty well, but they have their own capital converted, so that's not good. And it looks like more and more people are starting to convert to Protestantism. <sighs> what do you want? Uh, hungry... Yeah, I won't help, but you guys can go fight the war. So, yeah, they're going to be fighting over there. I don't really care. And like I called it. Like I called it. <laughs> uh... Yeah, 10 administration power. So let's see, what's our next mission? Conquer, achieve religious unity. That's never gonna happen. Unless by some chance this event gives me like strength 100%, it's not gonna happen. Become papal controller. I don't think that's gonna happen either. Like, we don't, we haven't had a good cardinal in our ranks in a long time. Most of our cardinals have been betraying us. Like this one right here, it's an idiot. It is not very like kind to us. So that wouldn't work. Uh, conquering Genoa. We could conquer Genoa. I mean, we do have, like, three many. And it's not like, it's not like Aragon's gonna be, like, friends with us anytime soon. I mean, let, let's be real here. They're probably gonna hate us for, like, the rest of the, rest of the century. So, you know, a quick war with Aragon on the side won't really hurt anyone. I mean, I doubt it'll hurt me. <laughs> uh, terrible humor. Terrible humor. Okay, so let's just get down right here. Should we build a cannon? Or should we build? Nah, let's build lots of more infantry. That way, we just have an abundance of infantry ready to just go stomp around. Cause I'm just gonna go instantly to their to the capital, stomp them around, and do all that stuff. Austria seems to be pretty much occupied with their war. They seem to be winning quite heavily. I didn't. Then they're not gonna. They're not gonna lose these guys. Let's, let's be real here. They're not going to. They seem to have revolt problems too. Yeah. I mean. All I have to do is just wait for, uh, Pretendo Revels. Well, that must mean they must have just had a major something happen so that now they have something, something. Uh, you guys, I need to start paying for you guys, and... Raise wartime taxes, seriously. I think we need to raise wartime taxes. Declared war are to cancel... Ah, no. That means England either has a colonial empire now, or it has a colonial empire. I was so close. I was so close to just keeping those all the time. So hoping maybe I could use that in the future, like tippity hop around the colonies, but apparently not. So let's see. Who are you allied with? No one of no one of importance. Let's go. Yeah, call in my allies. Yes, no. Well, you know what? I'll even if you cancel my alliance, Austria, I'm still your friend. This is a good thing. This is a cool thing you guys can do if you really do need an alliance struggle. Is that if you don't, if you want to call somebody in but don't want to end the alliance but still want to make him suffer the prestige loss, all you have to do is just make sure that war with somebody else and then they'll have to come in with you. So, there we go. Let's just go quickly go crush our good friends of Aragonian descent. You better not lose. I seriously hope you guys do not lose. And I know why they would be losing. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Okay, go down. Yeah, never mind. I'm surprised you guys actually won. To be honest, I'm actually surprised you guys won. Because you guys honestly should not have won that. 
We'll just crush the rest of these guys. Dang it. Yeah, just crush them, crush them. Yeah, go all the way back here. Yeah, this is going to be a quick... Let me just keep going back. There we go. That should be the last one. If they don't finish them off, then I don't know what will. I mean, seriously. There we go. Come on, get him. Yes, we got him before the end of the month. And they should be dead. And somehow we lost. You are the worst troops ever. Probably the worst troops ever. Why are you guys dying so dang quickly? I'm going to have to look at this because this is actually starting to annoy me. Yeah, give me Philippe de, de la Pista. Oh, the Cardinals are trying to do stuff. Okay. Army. Go crush them. They're trying to, the Cardinals are trying to actually be helpful, so let's go crush their army. Yeah, and I don't think they're going to get out over here. Yeah, we basically have this entire place golfed up, so if they want to get past me, they have to They have to pay me. Okay. Over here, they're attacking me. Uh, not going to work, though. River crossing, not going to work. Plus, I have an actual commander. Yeah, what were you thinking? I actually had a commander. Chase him. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Yes, we made it. Okay, just group up. Let's just start sieging down all this stuff. And they don't have anything strong right now to protect themselves, so just just siege everything. Uh, over here, we're destroying Hungary's army. I'm pretty sure the AI is not gonna be smart enough to like group up its soldiers, so we're just gonna just crush all its. Yeah, see, we crushed all its boats, crushed everything. It really does have nothing. And. Let's just go on a rampage spree about everywhere. Let's just, like, destroy everyone's, like, hopes and dreams and everything in between. So, yeah, we're destroying everything. I was about to say, are we really going to die? We, we better not die, because I really don't want to die. Yeah, destroy all of them. Yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. Just go on a, ma a massive rampage murder spree. Now, I... I, don't want, I wish I had Naples in this one right now, because it would be really nice. Apparently not, though. Let's see, though. Just keep just keep exploring. Keep wondering. I'm kind of wondering where everyone is. Just keep destroying whatever little armies come about. Yeah, they're, they're, they're done. <laughs> like, we haven't even begun, and I know they're done. So, let's see. We have an army right here. I think I'm going to start building more troops after this. That would be nice. Ugh. Let's see. Your fleet is being blockaded. That's really cute. Who's trying to blockade me? Oh, it's a little army from Milan. Hey, Milan, have you seen my death stack yet? Oh, wait, Milan, I want you to meet my death stack. Wait, there we go. You see, aren't you guys so well acquainted? Oh, you guys are perfect for each other. Okay, so let's just completely bark up the Pope and see if we can, like, get them out of this war and be like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't fight this. These guys are a little bit tougher than we are. Nope, they seem to be content to want to stay in this war. I don't know why. This war is not really going to be a win-win situation for them. Apparently, Austria is losing, though, in this war. Huh. I don't know what happened there, but it was like Austria was winning, and now it's losing. Okay. And we can finally get seven militaristic diplotech. We just finished one of our sieges. That's good. It's not the siege I wanted to finish. We got another idea group that we could technically go to, or a free slot. Um, what should we take, guys? What should we honestly take? Um, you know, I've been kind of thinking that we should probably go religious ideas. And just hit me out on this. I think we do need that kind of missionary strength right here. This, so we can finally finish up and colonize these places. So, yeah, I, I'm going to go with the religious strength. Plus, it's kind of fit. It kind of fits Castile, don't you guys think? It kind of fits, like, the whole Castilian attitude. Okay, you guys go down here. And let's see. Any more little tiny army? Oh, I thought there was a little tiny army I could destroy. Let's see. Yeah, there was a little tiny army I could destroy. And I think we can actually just keep you guys unguarded. And we could probably. Hmm. In this world, what do we want? We could probably take, like, a good amount of land. A new cardinal, probably not mine. Yep, probably not mine is definitely not mine. Let me see, how much have you guys invested Castile? Okay, this one's definitely mine. I'm not going to lose that guy. I could probably steal this guy from 
Oh, wait, no, I couldn't. Whoops, I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought this was the actual how much I need to invest in. Yeah, I won't be able to steal that guy, but... Oh, well. Like I said, I'm not really... I, I must be honest with you, I'm not really paying attention to any of what's going on there. And let's see, will you guys just give me what I want? Or what do I really want from these guys? I could release Sicily. It wouldn't really be worth it, though, in any kind of practical sense. Um... Annual treaties. Huh, Portugal's allied with them. I did not know that. But Portugal didn't join in, so that obviously showed you who's really their friend. <laughs> uh, returning Pomelo to Naples. I don't really want to do that. That's going to make them stronger. Um, all I want you guys to give me is Toledo and Pomelo. Yeah, I think I think this is what I want because then it'll kind of give me a uh, advantage, and basically this gives me a kind of Stoic victory, I guess, because that gives me more stuff, and I kind of like more stuff. Okay, seems like we finally have the the Catalinian army, or Aragonian army, right here. Okay, no, you guys go right there, then go right there. There we go. I want you guys to go crush that that fleet. Yeah, they, they stand no chance. My army is just insanely powerful. Well, not army. What am I talking about? It's not an army. It's a militaristic fleet. Okay, we could get global tariffs again, but I'm saving up for naval ambitions so we can finally upgrade. They must see the light! Everyone, they must see the light. That's all I gotta say, they must see the light. Okay, you guys, we're going to disattach one unit right here. And now we got 10 units, we're gonna go send these guys on a little uh, militaristic expedition to, uh, to some other land so that they kind of realize that they should probably peace out now. Because I will destroy them more likely than anything. I will destroy them. So let's go. And this is destroying music. Oh shoot. Go right there quickly. Go, 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 go. Before that, before that fleet realizes what they have on them. Go. Okay, so now we got all the fleet trapped in one place. That's gonna be that's gonna be a nice day when that fleet comes. Ah! Juan just took over. We just got naval ambitions. That is good, but Juan took over in the worst of times. Two wars going on, and we are slowly climbing towards ambiguity. Oh gosh, do we have? Yes, we can finally send a colony though. Oh gosh, that is awesome. I probably should not have just started that though, because I think we actually can't support it right now, but who cares? I started a colony, so what of it? I'm happy. I'm happy. That's all I gotta say. And let's go take our cogs. Let's go get this other army right over here. We're gonna send this one to Sardinia, because the army... Morocco's... I mean, Aragon's obviously gonna be stubborn, so... We're just gonna probably have to siege all the land before they finally realize... Oh, no, wait a minute. I don't think we could actually win this. Yeah, no, duh. That's what, I've been telling you that for like 20 times. You guys can't win this. And Austria definitely can't win whatever kind of big mess they got into. I don't know what happened with them. Like, they just, all of a sudden, they're now destroyed, beaten, battered, and blown up all over. I don't know what's happening to them at all. Like, at all. They just, they just look crushed. I mean, Austria just looks crushed. I don't really know what happened to them either. I'm kind of curious to see, like, how did this situation come about? And I really hope to God they that Burgundy does not have militaristic access over here because I really don't want to deal with a powerful Burgundy. Especially while I'm dealing with a powerful, like, this nation. Ah! Dang it. Yeah, I can't accept another, like, prestige loss right now. We're, we're already hanging by a thread, if you must know. Like, we're hanging by a thread, if we must be honest here. My king... Yay, good. I didn't really want that. Oh, no! Oh, wait, we still got six. Ha! Take that. And since you just revealed where your fleet is, oh, I'm going after you guys. Hey, no, 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 no. You don't get to escape after you just destroyed one of my ships. Four of my ships. You guys get to be devoured. Repel. Uh. Selecting this. Uh, So I'll let you go first. I'll allow them in peace. I, why not? I mean, it's, there's no point in being aggressive. And let's go keep our ships right here. 
Yeah, no, you don't get to escape. <laughs> yeah, I saw what he was thinking. He was like, yay, escape! And I was like, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so will you guys accept my deal? You know, they will not. They still want to fight me. So apparently, guys, we'll have to wait till the next episode for us to finish this war. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Alright, welcome back everyone to another episode of Castile, soon to be the Emperor of Spain, or España, and leader of the new colonial empire of Terra de España. We're slowly starting our colonies now, it is awesome. In fact, we could probably colonize a little bit more. In fact, where is our range right now? How far can we actually go? Ooh! Ooh! Me likey this colony. Let's go right here. Because that looks like a good, like, open world kind of colony. And let's see, the siege is over with. Yeah, and look at that. Look at all those little men. I mean, those little ships are going to be destroyed now. Yep. And now they're moving all the way to another friend's port. You guys about done. Yeah, no, they still they still need, like, one more conquest, and then they're going to be done. They're, they're getting close, though. I can always see in their eyes. They're like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't fun anymore. We don't like being beaten up by Castile. Yeah, I don't think you should, and apparently this, I'm hoping this war with, with uh, whoever will end, because I'm not really into it anymore. There we go. Can I get, can I get some gold? No, I can't. There we go. Get five prestige, and now time to take all my men back, which I just realized I have no transports, because they destroyed my cogs again. Well, luckily, cogs are really inexpensive to really build back, so I really don't care. Let's see, Italian ambition! Uh, mission succeeds when the following when we conquer all of Italia. No, <laughs> that is a little bit of a big task, especially for a person of, of our stature. Let's get that core, though, because I don't, we're not going to be able to core for a little bit. We're going to be, at the most, we're going to be having troubles over here in our colony lands from just dealing with all the colonial empires that are going to be soon to sprout up everywhere. And look at Portugal, they're already starting to become like a major powerhouse. We haven't even really begun. But what colony will that become? Just so I kind of need to play this by colonial regions. So that'll become the colonial Eastern America. I'm basically banking on the colonial Caribbean. Much smaller but way more tax efficient. So yeah, that's what I think I'm going to try to do is try to create a colonial American colony. And the Council of Artists, whatever that means, it's a good event for, I think, Portugal. And let's see, are we still friends, dude? I know we just declared war on your, on your other ally, but we're still friends, right, Portugal? I mean, we'll soon have the Treaty of Tortoiseles, so we should still be friends. Okay, Portugal, you, I mean, Poland, you guys are slightly more angry with me, which is not good. So let's improve relationships with you guys right now. Uh, let's see. National decisions available? Uh, military access. Yes, you guys can have military access. We're friends. Embrace the Counter Reformation! Technology goes down. Uh, missionary strength goes up. Technology goes down. Idea cost goes up. Let's see. Mm. You know, if I was to do this, I th think. If we would have to pop, maybe, because if we would have positive stability plus um that, we could possibly boost our stuff up all the way to like being able to finally like core these provinces and gain the full amount of income that we're supposed to be getting from it. By the way, how much are we making right now? I doubt a lot. Where's wartime taxes? <laughs> right when I was about to go to zero, I was like, where's wartime taxes? Okay. Yeah, the rebellions are gonna happen because Aragon is a is a is a gluttonous person. Colony damage, no. Oh great, the natives are gonna make me like fight them, aren't they? Don't you dare revolt there. I was a nice I was a nice person. I said live in peace, okay? I could have been a I could have been the mean guy and said we should totally exterminate the natives. No, I was a nice guy. I was like, no, we should totally back the natives. So if you guys keep breaking up my colony. Natives! Accommodation with natives! Yay! See, these natives realize what I'm trying to do. I am not a dictator of any sorts. You guys go back to protecting my trade in Seville. Go take those Portuguese out of there again. Because the Portuguese always want to be in my fleet. 
which makes no sense. Okay, you guys get onto the boats. I'm gonna go send you guys to go group up in Barcelona. Then we're gonna go take down those rebels. Because those rebels are gonna annoy me. And that is... No, no! Oh, shoot. Go! Go, my men! Quickly! Before they get overpowered! Oh, God. Oh, shoot. That, that was close. Uh, oh, don't you dare. No, no. Don't lie. Thank you. That is a good thing. You guys were about to lie and say you guys were gonna lose. I was gonna be quite disappointed in that if you guys had lost again. Because you guys are more powerful than them. And you guys knew it. So, 